Hey everyone, and we're back. My name is Miss Scarlet Tanager, and I am playing some Call of Cthulhu. It moved me all the way back here when I loaded the game up. So, uh, just, just give me a second while I walk back to where I'm supposed to go. Allo? Nope. <gasps> Allo? Nope. I have another key. I don't know where that key goes to. What's my... There, journal, that's what it is. The case! Inventory. So I have... Key to the guard's room, and the cellars of the Riverside Institute, and a key to the maintenance room in the cellars of the Riverside Institute. Okay. See, I've got this here. But I also have those downstairs areas. It's an ammeter. I didn't expect to see one on this little rock. Okay. What will happen if I increase the current to the limit? I don't know. Maybe you should do it. That should draw the attention of the guards. I should hide. Damn it. I'm not here! I'm not here! I'm not here! Oh no, they're just gonna stop right there, aren't they? This is fine. <gasps> not here. Not here! Okay, I can go around them. Pretty sure. Okay. Unless- oh god, there's the other guard. <gasps> OH SHIT! You don't see me. Don't see me. <laughs> Hi. You don't fucking see me. Okay, this is fine. This is fine. This is fine. <laughs> They're out of the way! I can get through, right? Okay. Going for it. Mm. Going for it, going for it. Damn. <gasps> yes, hide, 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 Don't you worry about the doctor. Right now, he'll have plenty to keep him busy with his precious machine. It gives us time to get away. I'll undo you. Get away? Get away where? I, I can't go anywhere. It'll find me like it found me here. Okay. You're mistaken about the beast. Don't stay with me or you'll end up the same way. You're Sanders, aren't you? I heard you from myself. What did they do to you? What does Fuller want with you? He's crazy. The doctor? The doctor. Yes. You think it's the doctor who scares me? No. The doctor wants to heal me. But he's the one who's crazy. He wants to restore my sight. He wants to give me back my eyes. And yet I told him that I didn't want him. I do not want to see it anymore. The real culprit is Sarah. <gasps> Her, her <laughs> cursed paintings. You're kidding me. You're talking about Sarah Hawkins. I should probably <laughs> keep an eye behind me because there was a dude walking. The one and only. The legendary. There is no artist more enlightened or cursed. 
cursed than Sarah Hawkins. Um. In her office, I saw signs of a ritual, perhaps an invocation. These things, that's what makes you say she's cursed. You're wrong. It was not an invocation, but a revocation. <laughs> <laughs> but she failed. And that's what counts. She's trying to What's repel going on something. On I'm... I'm so sorry. We should never have met. What are you talking about? Destiny! It has trapped you. No, don't let it see you, or you won't be able to escape it. So don't look at it. That's how it finds you. Okay. What finds me? <laughs> Sarah Hawkins' visitor? The Shambler? Sanders, pull yourself together. We yeah, because that's going to help. It's no longer possible to save me. Um. Um. Second floor. <coughs> That's fucking rude. Oh, am I dying? Rude. Am I dying? I gotta go back to normal. I don't like this vision. It's gonna make my head hurt. <laughs> Kindly cease and desist game. That makes it even worse. Okay. The shit. No, seriously, can, can we stop with this kaleidoscope vision? Like, it's giving me a headache already. And I need to record at least two videos today, so can we... Can we not? <laughs> Game? Well, I guess I'm just gonna go through the smoke. Fuck it. Ow. 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 Oh god, thank you! <laughs> D Damn! Future- <coughs> The gas! What? Oh. Future game designers. My head. Later. We need to move Future on. Future game designers. Don't fucking do that. By the way. Future game designers. Do not put screen filters like that on your screen when they're gonna be lasting for more than like a second. Um, I'm prone to motion sickness and um, headaches from like the flashes and video games and stuff. Some are better than others. It depends on the game. It depends on the effect. But don't do that. <laughs> Future game designers. It's bad. Pentacles! Great. Wonderful. It's Cthulhu! Hi, husband. How are you doing? <gasps> Has Bondo, we talked about Who this. You're not there? supposed to kill people. That nightmare again. I need a drink. No, you don't. Hold on. Got some, uh, 
Got some points to spend. Let's see here. What do we want? Apology. I got three. Is there anything that I can actually level up right now? I mean, I could level up occultism or medicine. However, my knowledge of the Cthulhu mythos and the tabletop game in particular says I should not take this. <laughs> You know, let's go balls to the walls. Fuck it. Yeah. There we go. Have I found the date? Oh, enter. Somebody told me I should get some strength, but <laughs> I have three. It's fine. You're awake, Mr. Pierce. Sup? How do you feel? Like shit. Did I sleep long? The day is only starting. It's fine. Is it though? How's our fugitive? Dr. Fuller hasn't reported your disappearance to the force, but that'll come soon. Bradley? How are you alive? Who else would it be? Mr. Pierce, are you all right? You look like you I saw you ghost. die. I th there are things I can't explain. Tell us. What happened? Let's see here. Oh, yeah. What I'm sure of now is that the Hawkins case isn't just an accident. And what brings you to that conclusion? Excuse you. The fact that Charles Hawkins survived the fire. I don't understand. Mr. Hawkins was buried. Man. That's what he would have you. Believe. I saw his tentacle face. I have a hard time believing you. Were you were there, dumbass. You were there, Bradley. You even opened fire on him. I'd remember that. Why would he fake his own death? Do you think he covered up his wife's murder? That's possible. Seems or maybe she is alive. Don't you have anything more concrete, Pierce? <sighs> That's why I needed medicine. <laughs> Bradley. What do you remember? I don't understand your question. The night we went into the Hawkins mansion, you don't seem to remember the tunnels and what occurred there. Eh? I have no memory of going down any tunnel. No, we were in the manor then. Uh, exactly. Then what? Exactly. I. Uh, the rest is quite blurry. I don't recall how you I got back stabbed. Home. And then, I went to visit you at the hospital. And called on Marie's help to get you released. And you don't remember the events of the tunnel? I don't. Let's talk about... Yeah, you got hella stabbed, my dude. Oh, I have to hold it. I heard you talking earlier. Why am I not surprised? <laughs> I get the impression you two don't get along. Intrusive and not very clever. Red. Anyway... Let's get back to the business at hand. Uh, okay, so I failed that. I don't have enough occult. I, I met a Francis Sanders. Do you know him? Oh, I should have talked to Colden. I didn't oh, realize God. that's what the option I haven't was. seen him since Dr. Fuller had him transferred to the basement. He knew Sarah Hawkins. And that's what killed him. What? How did he die? I'm not sure I can explain it. <laughs> Tell me how Mr. Sanders died. I didn't see what, but something it was, was a monster. With us, it's always a monster. Of what do you speak? A monster. Sanders said it was Sarah Hawkins' visitor. He spoke of it like a living being. Sarah Hawkins? Have I missed something here? This, this is no fine. Sense. I don't see how it can help crack the Hawkins case. You really think she's involved? How could she have murdered Mr. Sanders? Francis Sanders mentioned Mrs. Hawkins just before dying. It's no coincidence. You know, Francis Sanders was a well-known art collector. Uh, he has I some more paintings. I guess he can paintings. still pay a visit to his wife. Irene Sanders. Are we gonna go meet their An son, Bernie? You say. That's probably how they met. 
If you plan on having dinner at the Sanders household, please spare the widow the tale of her late husband's suffering. I don't agree. She deserves the truth. I don't think she does. But that truth may be biased. We don't know the bottom of it. Uh, <laughs> this is like when you have a big choice and mass effect and you're just like, fuck. Okay. Yeah, I have a d20. This is based off of a tabletop game. If I get even, I take the left. If I take a, if I get an odd number, I take the right. It rolled onto my crotch. So 10, even, we're staying prudent. You're right. <laughs> Without a plausible explanation for what I saw, let's not jump to conclusions. That seems wise indeed. This will Very affect well. your destiny. Great! I'll go to see Francis's widow. Perhaps I'll find a link between her husband's death and Sarah Hawkins. Don't end up in the hospital this time. <laughs> I'll do my I best. make no promises. <laughs> this is a Cthulhu this is a Cthulhu Mythos game. Great. I just let the dice decide my uh, future. Great, wonderful. <laughs> and yes, I do have a giant, um, actually. Okay, for one, we have just like co opted this dude's house. Uh, let's double check if there's not. Okay, that's my crouch button, that's my run button. There we go. There's nothing up here, right? Just double check it. Oh, okay, yeah, no. This is just the one house of um the Hawkins. We've just we've just taken over part of the Hawkins house. It's no it's MBD. Francis <laughs> Sanders, the art collector in front of the painter, died right in front of Pierce. Detective goes to his house and door to speak to his widow about the shambler. That the unfortunate man mentioned before he died. And we're not gonna tell her what happened to her husband. <laughs> Because what happened to her husband was kind of rude. I mean, if it was me, I would want to know. But I also would get really mad if I just got told, like, the ravings of a... What would sound like, at least in the beginning, to be the ravings of a lunatic. However, what can I, do I hope for you, I just sir? didn't give myself a Mrs. bad Sanders, ending. I'm a private detective. We must talk about your husband and his ties to Sarah Hawkins. Can I come in? Close the door in his face. You may. No. <laughs> However, before we go any further, please know that my husband died yesterday. That is precisely what brings me. Oh me. shit! Well, well it's Cat! Look who's here. Hi, Kitty. Hi, Kit Cat. I like her. You know each other. Don't worry about it. We met briefly. Time enough to iron out a few matters. The main thing is that we understood one another. The brave detective has a talent for sticking his nose into my business. I'm not here for you, I bump Kat. into her every time I'm investigating someone's death. It's a small island, detective. My island. It's better that it's you bumping into me. You're investigating Francis' death. Why? Who hired you? I spoke to uh. Francis before he died. His story suggests a link to a case I'm working on. Well, since this business has got nothing to do with me, I'll be in your husband's office, Irene. We'll carry on later. Very okay, well, Miss Baker. Cat. This way, Mr. Pierce. And do make yourself comfortable. It would seem that you have much to tell me. Yeah, about that. <laughs> May I inquire as to when you had the opportunity to talk to my husband? Yesterday. I met him at the hospital. What were you doing at the hospital? He spoke to me about <laughs> Sarah Hawkins. Uh. Oh, of course he spoke to you about her. That's all he talked about. Sarah Hawkins and her paintings. Okay. Please forgive my tone. The fact is that I have not been allowed to see him since he was interned. You, on the other hand, a perfect stranger, were able to see him and even talk with him the day he died. Mm -hmm. How was he? 
Were you present when he had this attack? What happened? Damn it! He died screaming, wow! I expected to find you more grief-stricken than this. That is not what husband. I meant by clicking that. I do not like the tone of your illusion, That is sir. not what I... I had long months to weep every tear in my body, and to accept, if not my fate, at least that of my husband. And so I'm sorry to disappoint you if you're expecting more hysteria not what I meant by clicking and that. grieving widow in my voice. Rest assured, however, my anger is real. I need to understand. How could this happen in a reputed institute? And, and right before your eyes, did you not do anything to help? I tried. It's terrible what happened to your husband, but I had nothing to do with it. I was injured, and I came across him in the hospital quite by chance. Injured? Well, I'm delighted to see you in such fine fettle, Detective. <laughs> Not everybody enjoyed such a prompt recovery. I suppose Fuller does do miracles now and again. Occasionally. Luck is obviously very kind to you. Oh, I'm tired, Mr. Pierce. I would be grateful if you could tell me what you expect of me, and then leave. Rude. I mean, I was rude too. Did your husband talk to you about Sarah Hawkins' visitor? Uh, Shambler, to use his precise terms. Hmm. <laughs> well, you can't imagine that's all he talked about. It's exhibited about at the that. center of the gallery. No better place for the painting that endowed him with the privilege of such a shameful and miserable end to his life. Can I see it? <laughs> no. The Shambler is a painting by Sarah Hawkins. Who else to paint such horrors? Take a look for yourself, if you feel so inclined. Burn it. <laughs> it is my only lead at this stage. Burn it I suppose fire. I have nothing to lose. Then you have paid no heed. For my part, I refuse to set foot in that gallery again. But if you are so eager to see yep. it. Thank you, Mrs. Sanders. I won't be Thank long. Thank you. <laughs> yes, please. Uh, my psychology is shit. <laughs> Another one of these. Let's get a little bit of this. Why not? Why not? Cool. Wait a minute, that's a hide spot. Oh shit. Is this the gallery? No. Oh, that's the gallery. I'm just gonna have a look around your house. Let's see what this cylinder has to say once it's inserted in a phonograph. Am I just gonna steal this? Oh my god, I just stealed it! <laughs> stealed it? I, I can't speak English. Sorry, lady. Don't mind me, I'm just, uh, invading your home, stealing all your crap. <laughs> There's nothing that could possibly go wrong here. Nothing at all. It's only a Cthulhu game. Oh shit, hi! A strange Amerindian pendant. Oh, what? Okay, I guess I'm just gonna steal that too. The whale and the cod! Strange. For months, Sarah Hawkins refused to part with her painting, to finally give it away for nothing. Uh oh. That's creepy. What thing? I could use one of those. No, no sleeping. God damn it! I picked up the sleeping pills. An old diary. A dining room. <laughs> I'll talk to you in a minute, cat. I got shit to look at. Okay. Ooh. Yay, medical progress. Hi, kitty. Ooh. 
I didn't actually expect that to work. Keep the Samus Gallery. Will you read the book? Okay. Shit! <laughs> Game, you fucking troll! Game, you fucking troll. That's twice you've stepped on my toes, detective. Try not to make a habit Sorry, of Sorry, kitty it. cat. I've got a lot of bad habits. Some can be more fatal than others. What have you come looking for in this gallery? I have a well-off client in Boston who heard about the death of <gasps> I lied! and wanted me to size up his estate before making an offer to his widow. Perfect, detective. The pretext, the body language. I would have bought it, it if it was the first time I'd seen your Damn face. Damn it, kitty cat! You're a good talker, Pierce. Your story will do for the moment. All's fair in love and war, I suppose. <laughs> Very creepy. Love it. Love the creeps. I suppose I probably could have picked the lock to get Okay. Oh, fuck. <laughs> hide spots. That well, seems a good time as any to end the video. Especially because I'm probably going to have to hide from something at some point. My name is Scarlet the Ninja, and I've been playing some cool Hulu. I'll see you all in the next video.